What? <laughs> I said faith talks take a look. Oh. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Another round of faith talks. Faith talk time. <laughs> We are heading down to the beach because why? It's our anniversary! Yeah. Woo! Four years. Four years. That's our <laughs> our hand signal this week. Four years together. Four easy years. It's been like it has gone so fast. Has it gone fast for you, Carl? Yeah, fast roller coaster. No, really? not a roller coaster, but it's been fast. It's been real quick. Yeah, it's sure. been so quick. I feel like we're still like newlyweds, you know? Honestly, I was thinking that the other day that it's just amazing that it's been four years. I know. Uh, and everything we've done in four years. We've done a lot. Can you think right off the top of your head one thing you love about me? Quick. <laughs> quick. One thing. I, I love your willingness to to uh, help me in my walk. That you've helped me. I love that about you. Thank you. I love that you are my biggest cheerleader, and you believe in me and support me. Amen. I love that you're such a giver. You're a giving person. You. you have a big heart. Um, I love that you I have way more than one. You said one. <laughs> you better get over. I um, love that when I met you, you just became, like you told my dad, a sponge. You said to my dad, I don't know a lot, but I'm a sponge and I want to know. Still and for those that didn't watch our faith talks that we did a year ago telling our story about how we met and that we got married in 18 days of the first conversation we had 18 days later we got married you know but wait let me finish my thought yeah. is that i love that you are a sponge and you said that to my dad the night you met him and I said, hi, Dad, this is Carl, and this is my new husband. <laughs> meet your new son-in-law. Yeah, meet your new son-in-law. <laughs> but you have proven that to be true because four years later, you just soak up the Word of God. And I love that about you, that you're just hungry for the Word, and it's every day part of your life, and we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, okay, so what were you going to say? Well, I was going to say something off the wall, but if, um, on the, the thing of the 18 days, yeah, if I had to do it over again, I'd done it sooner. Aww. Thank you. I wouldn't you. have waited. You wouldn't have waited 18 <laughs> days. We had such why, a long... Why waste time? We had such a long courtship. Okay, we stopped. Nothing like a little stop. <laughs> so that, um, the sun wasn't in our eyes. Yeah. So, um... Today, it being our four-year anniversary, I thought you and I could share about this past year that it was a really hard year for us, but not us, but things. Just stuff, life. life. So, yeah. um, our, my grandma moved in. Yeah. That was huge, like a huge thing. One of the hardest things I've ever been through in my yeah. life. Absolutely. Um, than just health things for you, yeah. um, financial things yeah. that we got hit with, remodeling. Remodel. And then the finances of the remodel. The remodel, uh, work stuff, yeah. my ministry, yeah. um, just like questioning after 10 years. I talked about that a few weeks ago. So many challenges we went through this past year. And wondering why the challenges are here. Right. And why? We, and why we, is the devil hitting us so hard? <laughs> and what we, we're thinking. we would like question this all the time. And we, sometimes we had a few pity parties. Well, more than not, probably. A few times yeah. we were like, okay, what is going on and why? Like, why is this happening to us? Yeah. And so you and I both, and I would say the start of this year, don't you think? when we got like 
really digging in her heels in digging yeah. Yeah. in the word yeah. separately like as you're going to work yeah. and I'm at home we were listening to the word I mean when you listen to 80 to 120 messages a month you were and yeah. I, I was, and you're right there with me so yeah that's 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 digging in well <laughs> before you made the decision to have to move closer to your work during the week yeah. you were driving four hours a day yeah. Yeah, and that was getting a lot of word. And I'm still getting word in. Today. So you were getting the word. So you want to share, just so I'm not talking all the time, but how we made that decision to... Uh, it's, it's just the wear and tear on... I went through two vehicles in the last... No, I mean years. like the decision we made spiritually. To, oh, spiritually. To, to dig in. To dig in, okay. Now I'm on board. Um, well, I think with everything we got attacked with that that we thought that we need to have word in us we got to start listening to the word we got to get into the word every and day. we were but, but we not like, we kicked it up yeah. like on a whole another level yeah like it was night and day i mean i don't expect anybody to do what we're doing right now but i think when you're I, desperate for I, answers you'll do what you gotta yes. do i think for me right now it's like an addiction I don't even listen to radio to listen to songs anymore. I, I keep the word on. I can't get enough of it. That's how I feel. Because it's every every message is almost like okay, that was for me, for that, that was me for that, and it's revelations mm -hmm. after revelations that we get just by listening to what we listen to. So answers the, come. Yeah, but here's the point I really want to make, and maybe you can address it for you is that when I made the decision to get serious and saturate myself in the Word all day long, I don't turn on the TV, I might just have the Word playing as I'm doing my chores or work or whatever. And, you know, one week, two weeks, three weeks, I still wasn't getting answers mm -hmm. and things still hadn't changed, mm -hmm. but I was not gonna give up. I just kept plugging, plugging, plugging away, plugging away. And it was like one day, like the revelation of God. It makes me so emotional. I want to cry. I started journaling. Like he started answering me. And then as to the why, like he opened it up for me and showed me. In a way you could understand easily. Yes. And then it was like the next day he would reveal another part of the why. And how I had been a blessing blocker in my life and in my ministry, things I was doing that was not productive and it was not, it was a blocker, a block for it me. It may be something he told you to do that you quit doing. Yeah, and I just, so. and even today, like before we took this road trip, he, he revealed another part to me and I can't help but be so excited about it because yeah. he's just showing me. And then he showed you yeah. an area in your life that I need to, that that I need to sharpen up on. To adjust and yeah. fix. And we love Jesus. We're good yeah. people. We're, do, we're doing the best <laughs> that we can. Uh, but yet we, we weren't seeing the... We're not getting results. Our answer is for why we're not getting results. Right. When you stand on something and you stand on something and it's not happening, you're wondering why. So instead of quitting and giving up, you and I pressed in so hard. To the Word. To the Word. And then He gave us the answer. Then He gave answer. you the answers. Yeah. He really did. And I'm just so grateful. And I'm so grateful. We were just talking about it at dinner. I'm so grateful together as a couple yeah. I can't imagine if I was trying to do this by myself what now I've done it by myself when I wasn't married but now that we're a couple like I can't imagine if you weren't striving for the same thing or I wasn't striving you couldn't do it mm -mm. you just couldn't do it. The, the, the answers that you get to help you in life is power it's power on your life if you get those answers and you follow his word and follow what he's telling you to do, that's just that's just a lot of power for your life, the blessings that you need and the favor. Things the favor. Everything just falls right into place when you're doing what you're supposed to do. So in the natural, we haven't seen any change, would you say? No. no. I feel it. 
but we feel it. I feel it. I feel like, it. I feel it. I, because I know the answer. Yes. If you know the answer, then it's easy. You just do what you're supposed to do, and then yes. it comes. Like, We've had so much favor in the last four years. Honestly, that's not like, oh, poor us. We Nothing's ever happened good for us. That's not no. it. I've had more favor in my life in four years than most people have in a lifetime. God's I've had so more grace us. and favor when we're going to all of it, but it's just, I'm getting cold. I chill bumps on my legs talking about it. I, he's just been good to me. And you expect that goodness all the time. And when you're not getting it, and you're going, what am I doing? Just... What am I doing? Why is the devil hitting me so hard? Why, 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 why? Well, open your eyes. You and know, this is just, what it is. Yeah. This is why. He showed us. And so, we almost, I shared about this one time. I don't know if it's a faith talks or on my page, but uh, you and I were, we were laying in bed like Saturday morning just talking. And I was crying and, you know, why is this and blah, 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 blah. And you're just sitting there listening to me. And then you're just <laughs> like, babe, I don't know. I don't know. And we both wanted to go like, I'm like, should I just go talk to my dad? And then you got at a point where you're like, I should have asked your dad. I need answers because you want to, you want them answers. Yes. And God's not giving it to you. Yeah. And then. Because he probably is and you're not listening. Well, then the very <laughs> next day we went to church and dad was just mm -hmm. answering Everything. so many things that we had. And I'm like squeezing your hand. Matter you're of fact, you said, you told me Saturday. And I said, I don't think I want to talk to your dad about this. You told me Saturday, Carl, if he doesn't answer your questions in church tomorrow, than asking mm -hmm. and he did everything was answered in church for, for what answers I needed to myself yeah answers in his message okay that's that makes sense okay that that makes sense there too yeah and it just helps you and then what, open up to where when God does give you that answer you're you're ready to receive it yeah you have to be ready to receive it so now it's like the things I was questioning asking the Lord about I I get it now. Like, I don't need to go ask my dad. No, we don't need to. We're grown I, up. <laughs> We're grown. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're adults. But <laughs> we stay committed and faithful seeking him, seeking him, seeking him. And he revealed. And for me, it's like almost every day he's been revealing a little bit more of the puzzle, putting puzzle pieces in for me. The picture's so clear. And I'm like, now... I get it well, and now what do you have once you get the answer then you have to be obedient to, well the word said seek him mm -hmm. that's the, what the word says seek him and, and that's what and I think done. we hyper seek him and uh, I mean that's what he wants we you were to do desperate. he wants you to seek him and now that it's such a part of us seeking him I'm it's something stop. I don't want to stop I'm not gonna stop. no I'm not no if like, I'm if I'm going to lunch by myself, like I do it almost every day, my earbuds are in. Words playing. Mm -hmm. The the phone's up on the table. Like you can't get enough of it. You're I just can't. driving I, down I here. Can. We're listening to the word. I love it. Yeah, we're not listening it. to the radio. We're listening to the word. Um. Anyways, I hope that's blessing someone today. <laughs> oh, my granddaughter's calling. Um. Just to, if you're in that place right now where you're just dry, I was so dry a few months ago. I was just so dry. It was like, I just don't feel like I have anything to give. And then when I just started to seek him, just seek him, he just, he just filled me, like filled me with this hunger, excitement, um, passion excited about my ministry yeah. here I want to say one thing that you know with whatever you're looking for in life whether it's finances or that special somebody like I found with Jerry Ann um, no matter what it is you have to do the the work yourself nobody else can do it for you nobody else can pray for you and get what you need you have to do that yourself you you got to have faith in what you want and then stand on it until it comes. Anyway, you, you can't, I can't do it for you. I can't do it for Jerry Ann. Jerry Ann can't do it for you. You got to do that for yourself. You have to do it for yourself and have your own faith in God and, and believe in God and stand on what you're, what you're wanting, what you're believing for. 
-hmm. Nobody else can do it for you. You do it yourself. And you know, Carl, our story has, I've heard, been such a blessing to a lot of people. I hope so. That we, our marriage. It's a blessing to us. That um, <laughs> we both were in our 50s, both been divorced, married and divorced several times, mm -hmm. both of us. And um, that God could do this for us. It's, it's pretty awesome. Uh -huh. And we're not perfect, like, mm -hmm. but we, it's, it feels perfect, if that makes sense. I think that both of us, if I can speak for you a little bit, didn't know how to make a marriage work, but we can tell you how to not make a marriage work, <laughs> you know, until now. Well, God was Until a, now. He God's got to be at the head, head of your relationship. Yeah, he is Lord. Him first. He is Him Lord first. of our marriage. He is. And I pray that that gives someone hope today that I get so many messages from people that it's a desire of their heart to be married and to have a, a companion and a relationship and a partner in life. And I just believe that he can do that. I mean, it, it he can and will if it's takes 18 days, it takes 18 days. He, I mean, he can and will. He can do it if that's what you desire. So, but stand on it. Don't ask other people to pray for you because, yeah, it's good to have the prayers out there. Yeah, I'm not saying it's not, but you got to use your own faith to get what you want. We hope that this blesses you yep. today. And just what would your final thought be? Just dig in, dig in the word. Yeah, dig in that word. It's it's the best thing I think I've ever done. I mean, what do you have to lose by listening to what? It just builds you. It every day builds you. You want to be built up, not puffed up. Did I've you? Heard that did you think, um, say, eight years ago, that you would be addicted to listening to the Word of God? No. <laughs> no way. Huh. I, I called you a liar. <laughs> That's so funny. Eight years ago, I'm not even the same person right now. I'm not the same person I was eight days ago. I mean, I change every day. <laughs> Hopefully for the better. I yeah. think for the better. Yes. So. All right, you guys. Have a great uh, day. And happy anniversary, does. Happy anniversary. Nope. Like this. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Bye. Bye.